Hi, this is Srikanth and my channel is Srikanth Nalgarla and in my channel I am discussing and so many videos, manual testing related videos, Selenium web driver related videos and QTP related videos and this is my channel we can uh, get this URL if you enter now you can see my videos also right coming to today in uh, in our session we are discussing selenium related interview questions so in real time they can ask the some questions what type of questions they are asking and uh, what is the answers we need to give that that we will start a discussion today in our session okay generally in every interview they are asking the question is this is a one question they are asking tell me about your current project or explain about your project what you are mentioned in your resume so in this situation lot of people okay so how we can explain this so many doubts is there so i can go for the today so how we can explain the project and first point you need to understand to explain the project for manual interview and automation interview almost all same so once again i repeat to explain the project for manual and automation interview almost all same project explanation is same okay coming to the what what we need to explain in project what information we need to give to the okay in entry point of view related to our project first one tell me about your project is related to which domain you are testing the on application that application belongs to which domain like banking domain insurance domain health domain erp domain otherwise some other domain which domain your project is related that you can explain first point next point explain about your project architecture so explain about your project architecture means what is the architecture you need to go for here means if you develop any application we have the architectures that's the environments we have that's we are calling single tire architecture two tire architecture three tire architecture n tire architecture so this is which environment you are using web environment you are using or n tire we are using client server environment or architecture we are which environment you are using that you can explain very clearly in my videos in my channel i'm explaining very detailed manner about environments about architectures okay that you can visit and you can get the okay understanding about the architecture and project related environment okay apart from explaining this architecture then you can go for the your project having how many modules how many components is available that you can go for the explain in which module you are involved in which module you are involved that you can explain next what is the functionalities available in that module what is the functionalities available in that module that you can go for the explain here functionalities means uh, uh, this is a login functionality this is a registration functionality or this is a uh, some other fun this functionalities you can explain okay in this project what is your responsibilities what you are done in this project that you can explain here okay in this way you can explain the project okay for example i am discussing here okay i can go for the discussing here okay i can take one project and how i can explain uh, lesion this you can understand more clear manner okay for example so my current project is related to banking domain and this is e banking related and one bank giving the services to the customer worldwide anywhere so we can go for the an e banking project okay and this is developed based on web environment that's a three tier architecture because of we want to use this is a what is the three tier architecture we need to use that's we can go for here this is a three tier architecture we need to go for the three tier architecture in this manner this is our three tier architecture one is the client and this is a application server and this we can call as a database server this is a database this is a database 
so this is the environment we can follow so every client is accessing here every client is accessing end users accessing here and here having the all the business layer so having the total database layer now all are accessing the so presentation layers is there okay whatever you are accessing the so presentation layer is there now it's giving and it's giving the access if you interact this is a three tier architecture they can go for that very simple manner for example this is your laptop in your laptop you are open the one browser in this browser you are enter www something.com you can xyz.com now that will be connecting to the server and is giving to the response and some page is coming and this we are calling as a presentation layer and this we are calling as a business layer this application server okay in this layer presentation layer you enter username password click login button if you click login button and giving to the business layer that will be checking to the database layer whether that username is password is authorized or not is checking and then is giving the response so like that say three layers it will be working and this type of environment application old wide anywhere you can access also so this is the main reason they can choose the this is the environment so that's so like that you can discuss the architecture okay fine apart from that you can explain oh in my project having the three modules for example in my project having three modules like uh, i have the admin module and i have the customer module and i have the banker module this is a banker module we have so i am mean, what is a admin module it is a managing the managing the master data managing the master data is a managing the master data related to the our project related to the our project master data it will be managing next coming to the here customer related so what is the services they are providing what is the services they are providing that all the services how customer can interacted that's a layer we can call as a customer we can call as a module so registration login we can go for the money transactions and so many and banking related information banking related module this we can go for that you can explain little bit like this then i am involved into the admin module in this admin module we have the this many features like is a managing the master data master data what is the master data that bank related branches that bank related roles that bank related users that bank related employees these are all the information master data they can maintain here for example i want to create one branch i want to modify one branch i want to delete one branch in same manner i can go for the and what is the roles i want to create what is the role i want to modify what is the role i want to delete same manner user i want to create the credentials i want to modify the credentials i want to delete the users and employees i want to create employees i can modify employees i can delete so this way i can go for the managing the master data so why i can create manage and we can delete for example is a branch i am creating in the one place and that time i can give the address and everything the branch number branch code everything i want to create and that purpose i want to create the branch okay that branch will be shifted to the some other place now i want to edit the address i want to do something modifications okay that branch will be some reasons it will be closing now i want to delete that branch in my website in my application so these are actions i want to implement like that same manner okay for example this way we can go for the admin i want to manage the data for example what is the functionalities i can explain very simple uh, you can go for the branch creation you can go for the branch creation branch creation in this branch creation i have one uh, like this page in this page what i can have the functionalities for example i can go for the branch id is auto generating this is auto generating automatically generated next we can go for the branch name 
what is the branch name and what is the you can give the address one and what is the address two yeah you can go for that and then what is the area what is the zip code and what is the country what is a state what is a city and you can click on submit button or register button whatever it's a create button something and here we can go for the reset button it's having some cancel button something is there right so this is a my functionality for branch creation now if you enter all the valid data click submit button branch is created successfully with some id and if you click on the reset button data will be clear click on the cancel button application is, that screen is closed and each and every uh, field having some validation given by the client like a uh, branch id it is uh, auto generated we can't enter anything it's automatically generated branch name is accept minimum six characters maximum 10 characters is accepting alphabets numerics and uh, okay this is only like that we have each and every field this is how we can explain the functionalities also and coming to the point what is the responsibilities in your project you are going for the automation project so in this project you are working you are working as a manual test engineer uh, means you are writing the some manual related test cases like that and then you are going for the automation there is no separate manual team and there is no separate automation team so both they can done and same people only so your responsibilities you can go for that understanding requirements writing scenarios executing this writing the scripts using the framework designing these all we can go for that in this manner we need to go for the here so this is a way you can explain the your project this is a way you can explain the project so this is a maximum you can uh, this is a you can try to explain these all the points this is enough because of nobody can come and see in our company and uh, what project you are doing this is a not happen so you can try to explain very proper manner what you have the knowledge that is enough for that here okay thank you for watching and the next uh, continuation will go for the some other interview questions thank you